What's up, guys? You guys are like Pwn, why have you not spoken? Is You guys are probably like crazy, cranked up the mics and the headsets and everything. We're like, why is he not talking? And then for me to whisper moist in here, I'm sorry. You can clean your pants later. In the meantime, what's going on, guys? Huh? How you doing? So, anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about sniping. Sniping in COD, actually. And how my thoughts on it have changed over, I'd say, the last year or two, because... The first time I ever watched a sniping montage, it made me vomit just a wee little bit all over myself, my keyboard. I had to buy a new one. True story. Um, just kidding, guys. <laughs> it's just, I didn't like it. I thought it I thought it painted COD in the wrong fashion. I thought it made it look too flashy. I couldn't stand it. The first montage I ever watched, I don't even remember the name of it, but it was, in fact, just one of those trick shot montages that I absolutely could not stand. Uh, it wasn't until a few months later that I actually tried to watch another one, and it was the Lad Taj. And it was by far the thing that was the most impressive thing that I have seen related to Call of Duty in a long time. And it gave me hope to understand, and that's what taught me about feeding and, you know, getting awesome, you know, kill feeds and all this other shit. And I started having this new respect for that kind of stuff. And I still did not like trick shotting, because I think in my opinion, once you've seen one trick shot montage... There's not too much. Now, I understand this is my opinion. I'm not saying the other ones are bad or anything like that. But the distaste I had was around, you know, clans like FaZe and stuff like that. No disrespect to them. But a lot of people went around saying, all their clips are set up, this and that, this and that. They're lining up for feeds and they're, you know, standing still for their clips and their trick shots and their 360 YY ladder stalls. And people were like, man, 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 just whining. And you got to understand, and this is what I came to the, you know, understanding of, is YouTube was about entertainment. And if you get off at seeing a guy spend 400 times shooting a guy without any real precision and landing it, congrats. Because I need much more stimulation than that. You know, I'm not trying. I, that, that did come off as a little disrespecting. But, you know, so I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a real art to that. I may be wrong, but, you know, this, this may come back to bite me because the, the exact reason I'm trying to point is back in the day, you know, quick scoping isn't hard to do. It definitely was not hard, and, you know, when I started doing it, it was in Modern Warfare 2. With the intervention and Barrett, oh, so fucking easy. And it was just something that a lot of people did, and then it started getting bad when people were going for clips, and it ruined, like, Search and Destroy, because half the fucking people were either camping and spawn waiting to get a clutch, or they were running around 360 jumping off the fucking buildings and stuff, and I really did not like what sniping and quick scoping and montages did to the community, and it kind of really did potentially ruin the Search and Destroy game type, which I thought was probably the most skilled game type out of all the Call of Duty game types. And it took over by storm, and at first I didn't understand it. I didn't like it. I didn't respect it, because I'm like, there's so much of it's luck. Some of it's just an opportunity, making sure people line up, making sure you don't choke on it. And then it wasn't until recently that I started actually going for montage clips with Nova Gaming. As you guys know that I founded that. I'll leave a link down in the description below. We do Battlefield. Uh, COD, Medal of Honor, Halo, the best edits on YouTube. I, you guys are like, no, no way, go watch, you'll see what I mean. And so I started going for my own clips for COD, because you know I do it for Battlefield, I'm going to be doing it for Medal of Honor, so I'm like, you know what, let me crack at it with COD. And it's far more time-consuming. I'm not going to say it's difficult. It's not difficult, but it's very, very time-consuming. And, you know, people can play for a couple days without getting a clip, but then again, you can get two nice clips in one game, and a lot of it's luck, just like those guys that push and push and push playing solo in, you know, Modern Warfare 3 for the nice, you know, triple Moabs and shit. It's a lot of push, it's a lot of opportunity, it's a lot of luck wrapped into one, and then you have to be able to seize it. Um, so, I think it was always cool, and now, now the trick shotting, I think it's cool, right, to an extent. I don't mind trick shotting at all, but I don't like seeing it when it's set up. It's not, I mean, it, it, I guess it all comes down to entertainment if you like it, great and dandy. But when something is set up, it's just a matter of time. Oh, hey, oh, I missed my shot. Let me climb back up this ladder, spend 18 more times, see if I do it again. If it doesn't work, do it again, which means you got guaranteed an opportunity. And, you know, I, I doubt it would take hours to nail one of those clips, unlike, you know, trying to get an awesome feed or something like that. So I guess I think with the lack of skill and the fact that it's all just prepared and set up there and it doesn't promote skill is why I don't like trick shotting too much. Um, there's no disrespect to it. I mean, a great edit is great edit. Um, but that's just my opinion on it. I know there's a vast majority of you guys that love to watch trick shotting and, and stuff like that. And I want to ask you guys your opinion. I mean, I, I'm recently looking into that and, uh, so far on Nova, all we have are basically guys that get feeds, you know, crazy six man feeds and stuff like that, you know, collaterals and 
cool shit, and we really don't have a single trick shotter yet. And I want to ask you guys, not only to you know comment, let me know what you guys think about the sniping community in Call of Duty, but list off some of the guys that you think are great trick shotters so I can see the standards, so I know what to look for when people are trying to apply for us. Because we're going to be doing a recruitment challenge here at 10K, which is only probably a few days away. And it's been a really, really fun experience, and I, I'm learning to respect this a little bit more. And it's learning to understand that YouTube's all about entertainment. And if people like to see... You know, crazy ass trick shots, and so be it, man. It's great. More, more to them. If you like it, go for it. Um, so that's my opinion on the thought. Let me know what you guys think about Call of Duty sniping.